Hey you guys, so today I'm here with my Booktubeathon day one um, wrap up update thing and then the two video challenges that you're supposed to do. Um, two quick things before we get started. Number one, I will not be doing a random fact in these videos because I want them to not be very very long and because I'm doing a wrap up in them of the day plus the video challenges, they will get kind of longish. I mean, not really long, but if I add in the random fact at the end, those usually take about 30 seconds to a minute, and that does take up some video time, so I will not be doing random facts in my videos for this week. Plus, I'm kind of running out of ideas, so I might kind of discontinue them for the time being. So yeah, and then number two, on Thursday I'm having a live show with Anna from Anna Renee Burton, I think her username is now, but she used to be Anna Reads Books, I'll link her channel down below. And we're doing the second Babysitter's Club live show. And this live show will be on Claudia and the Phantom Phone Calls, Babysitter's Club, Anne M. Martin. Um, this is a very, very short read. I know that the Booktubeathon is going on, but this will bulk up your page count, so just read it. It'll be fun. And I'll leave all the information about times and stuff down below. Check it out. Please join us. So now let's get started with the reading wrap up. Ariel said that the deadline for turning in your videos, your video challenges, is 9 p.m. Eastern time. And for me, that's 6 p.m. And so I will be having to film these and upload them way earlier than when the day actually ends for me. Uh, so I'll be doing a lot of reading after the videos are over. Today I'm telling you what I've read so far and then tomorrow I'll tell you what I read the rest of today and then what I've read up until then. So that way I'll kind of encompass everything and get it, everything will work out. So I've already blabbered enough. Let me just tell you what I've read so far. As of 4.21 p.m. I have read 142 pages of Ingenious and honestly the reason I am not done with this is because I'm not really enjoying it, but I only have 60 pages left and I feel like it's too late to give up on it now and I'm just gonna finish it. It's like a three stars for me. And then I plan on moving on to either Chasing Vermeer or The Daughters Break the Rules. So I'll choose one of those. Doesn't matter which one. I know that I'm going to enjoy them more than the book I'm currently reading. So now it is time for the video challenges. So the first video challenge um, to actually win a book is to recreate a book cover. And I had a lot of fun with this. The book that I recreated is To All the Boys I Loved Before, so take a good look at this cover. And I actually read to you guys the blurb on the back and it's kind of dramatic. So. Cue the clip, roll, now, go, whatever people say in videos when they want the clip to go. When I write, I hold nothing back. I write like he'll never read it, because he never will. Every secret thought, every careful observation, everything I've saved up inside me, I put it all in the letter. When I'm done, I seal it, I address it, and then I put it in my teal hat box. They're not love letters in the strictest sense of the word. My letters are for when I don't want to be in love anymore. They're for goodbye. Because after I write my letter, I am no longer consumed by my all-consuming love. I can eat my cereal and not wonder if he likes bananas over his Cheerios too. I can sing along to love songs and not be singing them to him. If love is like possession, maybe my letters are like my exorcisms. My letters set me free. Or at least they're supposed to all the boys I have loved before. So I hope that you guys enjoy that kind of fun video cover recreation. I had a lot of fun doing it. It's super dramatic. I know the lighting isn't that great. I used my Mac laptop and um, the lighting was really funny in it, but I still think it turned out pretty cool and I'm really happy with it. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. And the last video challenge for today is to talk about the top three books that booktube has made you read. And oh, so many books. Booktube has made me read so many books. But I did pick three. I did pick three that just came to me off the top of my head. There are so many more I could talk about, but these are the three that I picked. First one being Divergent. I found this out from Cass J. Tuck, and I, am, I, I read this right when it came out, and I'm so happy that I did because I absolutely love this series. I think it is incredible. The next book is Legend. I found this, again, from Cass J. Tuck right when it came out. I purchased it and read it. 
and I loved it. It was an amazing series, another great dystopian. I found out a lot of dystopians from booktube, so I, I just love this book. And the last book I want to mention is actually the book that I did a cover recreation of, and it is a book I've read recently, and that is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Love this book. It is amazing. I just... Just the feels in this book. I cannot wait for the sequel. It is fantastic. So there you guys go. Those are the video challenges of the day and what I've read so far. I know I haven't read that much, but I do plan on reading a lot more after I put up this video. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!